and we are seeing signs that it is strengthened. It is back to a category three. Notice winds up to 115 miles per hour. Hurricane hunters are in there now and they have found that it is a bit stronger. Notice slowed down just one more mile per hour northwest at 12. So that is expected and that's because it's starting to make more of that northerly turn now as it starts to feel that trough going to slow down a little bit and then it'll start to head more north up towards the southwest Louisiana coast. Notice the pressure down to 959 as well. So this thing is continuing to strengthen at the moment with its strengthening. We've seen the eye really open up. You can see here uh, not the most perfect looking eye, but certainly visible right here. Pretty wide as well. This thing is certainly not as compact and small as it was back in the Caribbean when it was almost a record small uh, eye, but you can see there a very well defined hurricane uh, and continuing to strengthen. Here's the latest track. Of course, we have it as a cat three. Now I've got your wind fields on here too. That's in the yellow, your tropical storm force winds, your orange and your red below the icon icon. There are going to be your more damaging winds. There it is by tomorrow afternoon at about one o'clock. They have it getting up to uh, maybe even a little bit stronger of a cat three hurricane and then continuing uh, up towards the southwest Louisiana coast, still making landfall by Friday evening. We'll say around sunset right now in southwest Louisiana. So the track has not changed at all. That's been something that's been very consistent with this storm throughout the entire time, really. And then there's your wind field, uh, some tropical storm force winds, mainly on the western viewing area as we go throughout tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. As we go into Saturday morning, we'll say about 1 a.m., moving pretty quickly within that 12 hour period, getting up towards Alexandria and then up into parts of the Mississippi uh, River Valley, or at least up towards northern parts of Louisiana as we go into early Saturday morning, continuing to weaken as it quickly races on out of the area. So with the fast movement of this, it's going to come in fast. We'll likely see those strong winds inland because of the fast movement. So that's what we're looking at with the latest track. We're talking about the confidence in this forecast, and you heard it earlier in the press conference with uh, uh, the meteorologist from the National Weather Service and Slidell talking about the forecast confidence is high. Look at this. It's not very often all of our models, and these are all different models that we use in the tropics, are tied tightly clustered anywhere from Lake Charles to Lafayette. So it looks like between Lafayette and Lake Charles will likely be the landfall mentioning that it will can and will probably wobble around just a little bit as it comes on up. So, you know, 10, 15 miles is certainly uh, could make a difference where it makes landfall. But at this point, it does look like southwest Louisiana will see uh, the main impacts from this storm surge values. We've got some updates on these. We'll be certainly watching this as the wind field gets pretty broad with this thing. We're still going to see water rise here two to four feet on the east bank of Plaquemines, St. Bernard, two to four feet. Same for coastal Mississippi and Harrison and Hancock counties. The lake two to four feet. Going down uh, West Bank of Plaquemines, though, and towards Grand Isle, three to five feet. That does include going up into Lower Jefferson. Uh, you're going to see water rise there potentially of three to five feet. And then a bit higher once you get to Port Fouchon and towards the west. So we're talking up into Terrebonne Parish, Cocodry, Chauvin, four to seven feet or so. And then even higher uh, for Morgan City going to Vermilion Bay, New Iberia, is where you're likely going to see the highest storm surge, which is right just to the east of the center of landfall. Seven to 11 feet will be highest down here. The the only good news with the situation is when high tide is going to be. And right now, here's your high tides. Uh, they will be tonight at about 2 a.m. We'll have high tide at 7 a.m. in Wrigley's. Um, 2 a.m. at Shell Beach and 3 a.m. in Grand Isle. Your low tide will be during the afternoon and evening hour. So as we get closer to landfall, we'll be somewhat in our lower tide. That is some good news, but still we'll likely see quite a bit of water rise, especially west of Port Fouchon and even west of Morgan City is what it looks like at the moment. Your earliest arrival of winds will likely be tomorrow morning along the coast. These are tropical storm force winds of at least 39 miles per hour. Notice it's not a guarantee that we see those strong, strong winds all day long here in New Orleans, but we'll likely see some higher gusts. Right now we're sitting at about a 40% chance of seeing to 50% chance of seeing some of those stronger tropical storm force winds throughout the afternoon and evening. And then it is likely, of course, as you get towards Baton Rouge, towards Lake Charles and Lafayette as well. Your peak wind forecast, and these are the highest winds you will likely see. Notice, would not be su surprised to see some wind gusts over 40 miles per hour here in the metro, uh, and maybe a little bit higher as you get into parts of the western viewing area. So the river parishes could see wind gusts over 40, 50 at times, especially along the coast. You could see some wind gusts over 50 miles per hour. And then once you get into Baton Rouge, Morgan City, you're going to start to deal with some higher wind gusts that could cause more damage uh, with trees and power outages being the main concern. And then you get into Lafayette, you get into Lake Charles, you get into the 
area where landfall is going to be. You could be dealing with wind gusts over 100 miles per hour. The Weather Service even mentioning 110 plus mile per hour wind gusts are certainly possible in this area. So uh, winds will be gusty tomorrow here in southeast Louisiana, but the strong damaging damaging winds are going to be from Baton Rouge and really to the west of Baton Rouge. Rainfall. This is some great news for us. It really is only one to two inches in the forecast and that two inches and even an inch might be generous. A um, little bit higher totals. You get closer to Baton Rouge and Morgan City and then this is where your flash flooding risk is going to be highest right near the center of this system, maybe five to 10 inches of rainfall, uh, but we can definitely handle one to two here. It all just depends on what those banding features do and we will see some rainfall from this, but they may be moving fairly quickly. We may only see one or two here or there. By the way, let's talk about today because we do have a band of showers, uh, tropical downpours, and this is outer bands of Delta being flung up across the area. These are trying to rotate, so we need to keep a close eye on them. We've had a few funnel reports down here in Harrison and Jackson County, Mississippi, west of Highway 49. Uh, but notice these storms. They've all got this kind of hook feature, right? That means they're trying to rotate. There's one now in Washington Parish. There's one north of Amy going into St. Helena Parish, and there's some in Pearl River County at the moment. Would not be surprised if we see one or two tornado warnings from these, just something we'll have to watch this afternoon. Uh, but it's just that reminder that one of our primary concerns, even going into tomorrow, is going to be for maybe some spin up tornadoes. We're going to be on the east side of a system. I want to show you precision cast on kind of timing it out on when we could see some rainfall and what our winds will be doing as we go into tomorrow. This is Thursday. This is tonight at about 9 o'clock. Notice not a whole lot of rain across the area. We've got winds 10, 15 miles per hour. No big deal, right? As we go into tomorrow morning, winds will start to pick up along the the coast. We could start to see sustained winds 20 30 miles per hour right there. Winds gusts a little bit higher 35 to 40 at times. Here's Delta coming into the picture well to the southwest of us, at least the core of the system. But remember, wind field is big with this. So by 11 12 o'clock, notice models already showing sustained winds 20 miles per hour with some gusts possibly up towards 40 across the entire area. As we go into the afternoon and evening, that's likely when we'll see our highest wind gusts here in southeast Louisiana. Of course, they're going to be dealing with hurricane conditions over here, but as you get closer to us, maybe gust up to 40 at times. This is 3, 4 o'clock. Could see some gust over 50 a bit further down in the Bayou Parishes, the River Parishes. Notice this model gusting Baton Rouge over 60. And then even 8, 9 o'clock. Notice we haven't seen much rainfall at this point, but could see this kind of banding feature swing up around this thing, and this could push through by tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. That could certainly bring some stronger wind gusts over 40 to maybe 50 miles per hour at times. And the tornado threat will be there with that band. So that's something we'll be watching. By 11, 12 o'clock, notice our wind still fairly breezy, only sustained 20 to 30 miles per hour with higher gusts. And then by Saturday morning, this thing will be lifting on out. We'll likely see some wraparound showers, but uh, parts of the southern uh, south shore, even going towards the coast, might see a peak of sunshine or two on Saturday. So that's the good news with the storm as it's moving in. It is moving out. It's not stalling. So here's your seven day forecast. I'll leave you with this 70% chance of rain tomorrow. It's not going to rain all day tomorrow, but we'll have a few rounds of showers. Uh, we'll have to watch for that tornado threat. Winds will be gusty, certainly. And then by Saturday, some showers lingering around, especially in the early part of the day. Look at Sunday, mid 80s, upper 80s on Monday, Tuesday. Looks like we'll get another cold front in here by Wednesday and into Thursday, and that'll bring us slightly nicer conditions. So that does it for the 4 p.m. advice from the National Hurricane Center. Um, Chris Franklin will be back here at 5 o'clock. He'll have a detailed forecast for you as well. But for now, we're going to throw you back to regular programming.